Hi everybody, it's Dan and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making a super deluxe ultimate layer upon layer upon layer upon layer delicious ice cream cake. It's going to be, dare I say, better than Dairy Queen. And it's going to have those delicious yummy crunchies in it. Mm -hmm. I'll throw a link to the recipe down below in the description. It'll be right underneath the KitchenAid Stand Mixer giveaway. So if you haven't entered already, be sure to click that and get all the information you need and check out all the ways you have to enter. Now I'm gonna stop rambling because we know I can do that and we're gonna go ahead and get started on some amazing ice cream cake. Yes, we are. I don't know why <laughs> I was saying that, but you know, amazing. So this is gonna be a Neapolitan ice cream cake. So our first layer is gonna be delicious, creamy, Millie's chocolate ice cream, the best chocolate. So we're gonna take two pints of our ice cream into our mixing bowl, grab our hand mixer, and we're gonna blend this until it's nice and creamy and smooth. Now we're gonna take our chocolate cake, add it into our springform pan. It's already baked. I baked all the cakes ahead of time. I'll be sure to throw those recipes down below also. This way, you know, you can make your own delicious, super deluxe, layer upon layer upon layer ice cream cake. So this way, you know, you have all the things you need. But we're gonna take our springform pan and we're gonna place our nine inch chocolate cake in there. And then we're gonna wrap it with a cake collar. It's just a, a sleer, a clear like acetone type. It's, it's pretty much a plastic cake collar to help layer things and kind of keep everything nice and tight, nice together. And you have those perfect, beautiful, gorgeous, yummy, yummy layers. So we have our cake in our springform pan. Now let's go ahead and add some delicious milk chocolate ganache. And then with the back of a spoon, we're just gonna go ahead and you know, spread it, cover that cake with all this ganache. So no matter what slice you get cut, you have some delicious, yummy, silky smooth, delicious chocolate ganache. And it's super quick, only two ingredients. Be sure to check out that video. I'll throw a link. I'm always bad with this, one of these corners. But it'll be down below also. Then we're gonna take some crushed milk chocolate cookies, crumble them up, crush them about so you have a bunch of yummy crumbs, and we're gonna sprinkle that on top of our milk chocolate ganache. So we have three layers down and we have maybe like 10 more layers to go. I told you, super deluxe, delicious ice cream cake. So we have our chocolate cake, our milk chocolate ganache, our cookie crumbles. Now we're gonna add that silky smooth chocolate ice cream right on top. You just wanna pour that in. And with your spatula, you just wanna spread it all around. So we have our chocolate cake layer, our milk chocolate ganache layer, our chocolate cookie crumble layer, and our chocolate ice cream layer. So let's go ahead, pop this in the freezer and let it begin to firm up and start holding its shape. This way the ice cream doesn't kind of melt and get all droopy and just, you know, all sad and bleh. While you do that, be sure to grab your vanilla ice cream out of your freezer. This way we can start the next round of delicious yummy layers. So we're gonna follow the same beginning steps here. So we have our vanilla ice cream in our bowl and we're gonna grab that hand mixer and we're gonna whip it back up until it's nice and creamy and silky smooth. And once you have that whipped, smooth, yummy, silky, delicious vanilla ice cream, all just, you know, all the words, <laughs> go ahead and scoot that to the side. Grab your springform pan with all your chocolate layers out of the freezer, grab that and we are gonna go ahead and place our vanilla cake layer on top of the chocolate ice cream. And this is where that clear acetone cake color comes in handy because once we start stacking all these yummy flavors on top of each other, you're gonna just, you know, you'll be able to see them. And it'll be like, uh, it was really bad with geography or not <laughs> geography, that's maps. Geology or the rock stuff. I, I, was, I was really bad with that. You know. I go to school for accounting. I don't, I don't know the layers. Sorry. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go ahead and pour on some delicious, yummy caramel sauce. Caramel, caramel, 
I just feel like it's a polarizing thing. I don't know. How do you say it? Caramel, caramel, tomato, tomato, I guess. And then we're gonna go ahead with our spatula and kind of just smooth it all over our vanilla cake. And then pour on top our vanilla ice cream. And just smooth that over with our spatula again until all the cake is nice and covered. And once you have that vanilla cake and that vanilla ice cream all in there, all covered, looking all kinds of delicious, go ahead, place that in the freezer, grab your strawberry ice cream, and we're gonna reset because I made some messes, and we're gonna start on our last round of yummy, yummy strawberry layers. So with our chocolate ice cream and our vanilla ice cream, we're gonna be doing the same thing with our strawberry ice cream. So we have our big glass bowl, we have our hand mixer, let's go ahead and whip it and cream it until it's nice and smooth and just all kinds of yummy, yummy, yummy. And once you have that nice smooth ice cream, just, you know, hanging out in the bowl, begging to be eaten, don't do it because you didn't get enough strawberry ice cream. Or maybe you did because you think ahead like me or not like me because you know, I've had to go get strawberry ice cream two times now. <laughs> But we're gonna go ahead and grab our white cake and add that on top of our vanilla ice cream. You just wanna push it down in there. And for our next layer, we're gonna add delicious homemade strawberry compote. I'll throw that recipe down below also. And I'll throw uh... a... <laughs> so bad, you think I would know this by now, almost two years. Uh, one of these will have the strawberry compote. It's really good, it's really quick. It goes great with waffles. Another eye card maybe? I don't know. Maybe? It's just, it's delicious. And then let's spread that around with our spatula. And then top with some crushed vanilla cookie sandwich crumbles. Crumbs. Cookies. Deliciousness. and then pour on top our whipped and smooth strawberry ice cream. Now we're gonna go ahead and pop all of this beautiful stacked gorgeousness into our freezer and let it firm up and chill for a good hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours if you wanna watch a movie. Yeah, why not? The longer in the freezer, the easier it's gonna be to do all the buttercream and all that yummy goodness and mm, so good. So it's been an hour and a half. Our whole cake is nice and firmed up. It's frozen gorgeously and you have these beautiful, nice, gorgeous, yummy layers. We've got the chocolate cake, the chocolate ganache, the chocolate cookie crumbles, the chocolate ice cream, the vanilla cake, the caramel sauce, the vanilla ice cream, the white cake, the strawberry compote, crushed vanilla cookie crumbles and the strawberry ice cream, 11 layers of oh so good deliciousness. Um, hello, Dairy Queen better get ready to hand over that crown because this ice cream cake, perfection. Mm. And then like Drake, we're gonna go ahead and start from the bottom, work our way to the top and cover this cake with delicious vanilla buttercream. Or Jimmy, if you watched the grassy before you know, Drake was Drake. Then we're gonna go ahead and smooth this buttercream until our cake just has these perfect, clean cut, yummy, delicious buttercream coat to kind of keep all of our layers just mm, nice together. Now let's go ahead, pop this in the freezer while we reset. You should only need to leave it in there for another 10, 15 minutes, depending on how warm or how cool it is in your kitchen. I know mine is a nice, cool, I think 70, 69, 68, 68 degrees. So, you know, 15, 20 minutes, 
So it's been 10 minutes, our cake is re-firmed up. You know, this way it doesn't kind of just melt while we're finished decorating it. We're gonna take some vanilla buttercream dyed sky blue, and we're gonna pipe on some delicious, big, yummy, gorgeous dollops of vanilla buttercream all along the rim of the cake. And to top it all off and bring it all together, we're gonna sprinkle on or just overload with some yummy, bright, colorful, delicious sprinkles. And just like that, you have perfected, super layered, super deluxe, ultimate, yummy, Neapolitan ice cream cake. It's Huh, we did it. <laughs> we added 11 layers of all this and it didn't mess up. We didn't make too much of a mess. <laughs> I got a lot of cleaning to do. But that's all I have for you today. If you liked today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out, lets me know I'm doing things that you guys wanna see, you guys wanna try. And while you're down there giving this video a thumbs up, be sure to click the subscribe button. This way you don't miss out on any yummy or festive festive because we're coming up on the big holiday sweep here you don't want to miss any of those i got a lot of fun things planned and be sure to check out the kitchen a mixer giveaway click on the link it'll be down below in the description and it'll have all the information you need all the ways you can enter we're giving away kitchen aid stand mixers or i'm giving away kitchen aid stand mixers until 2020 so you know someone's got to win all of you got to win you got to enter though you got to you got to take care of that first that's why i can start giving them out and if you make your own yummy, delicious 11 layered or do more layers, let me see. Tag me on Instagram. Let me see how crazy and perfect and ultimate your ice cream cake is going to turn out to be. Because this right here will be gone probably by the end of the day. <laughs> but I, I'm going to go. I'm, I'm going to let this firm up even more in the freezer. So this way I don't have more of a mess to clean. Enjoy the day. Hang out with Gwenny. Have some coffee. And I will see you all tomorrow with another yummy, delicious recipe. Bye. <laughs>